actually holds the record for the fastest Mazda P6 in the world. And that was 40 PSI? Yeah. Wow. That was the what record? Uh, the stock sleeve record. That's the stock sleeve record on a Mazda Speed 6? Oh yeah, yep. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Charles with TRC and today we're back again with another video. We are here with Abdul and his Mazda Speed 6. This thing's insane. Let's check it out. All right, Abdul, man, how's it going? Good, man. How are you? Doing great, man. You have your Mazda Speed 6 here for us. This thing looks insane. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about it. All right, so uh, this is my 2007 Mazda Speed 6. I've been building this car slowly for about the past four years, four or five years. To where it's at right now and uh, the main goal of, the, of this car is just to make it a sleeper build because uh, this is such a rare car nobody expected it to be the fast so I try to keep it as sleeper as possible and now just been finally getting to more of a uh, drag racing okay so i decided to build it more to actually withstand that yeah if you want to, if you wouldn't mind popping the hood for us oh yeah yeah sheesh oh look at that all that purple right there dude this looks insane Oh yeah, I try to like at least keep some color going in the bay, and uh, it's a big thing. So my tuner, his uh, his name is like a Purple Drink. It's, that's his business, but his real name is William Dawson. So I try to keep that purple theme going with the car as well too. And purple stands out a lot, dude. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. So what can you tell me about the motor? Okay, so the motor is a fully built motor that I built in my garage with a few help. Uh, the cylinder head was ported by a good friend of mine four years ago. His name is Nicholas and it's it's been great and uh, what I did I added upgraded valve springs from Kelford 83 pound valve springs and it's also running uh, Kelford 247c cams stock intake valves and uh, one millimeter oversized exhaust valves it's on uh, chromatic MLX head gasket with ARP L19 head studs the bottom end was machined by Jordan Kefover over at Overspeed Motorsports uh, he did an o-ring on the bottom end as well too and it's still on stock sleeves the pistons Jeez. yeah <laughs> definitely pushing it to the limit the pistons is a uh, manly Pla platinum series pistons with uh, manly i-beam rods it's uh, still on stock crank and it has a uh, king main bearings and wow. king rod bearings that's pretty much it is for the motor it's a basic build on the motor and it's it's uh boosted obviously you can see this oh, yeah. big old massive turb ski on the back so what can, you, what can you tell me about that okay so that turbo setup is a uh, precision 64 66 turbo with the uh, 0.82 AR hot site housing. I've had it for another four years as well too. It also used to belong to my tuner. That was his uh, old parts and I got it from him. Decided to carry on the tradition since he's part of his car. So I decided to take it over and push the car to the limit. It's also running a custom uh, Boost Junkies exhaust manifold. It's a one-off manifold that he was uh, they created for him. It's on a uh, towel. 44 millimeter wastegate that's fully maxed out right now to get the most power out of it from because we're in altitude you need a lot of boost to make power how much how much boost are you running we're running currently it's running a 40 psi boost uh, what yeah. kind of transit are you running uh it's still on stock transmission no way yeah however though i changed the gear ratio with the second generation mazda speed 3 gear in because it's slightly taller just to help with the power okay okay cool but it's still stock yeah it
So uh, what else can you tell me about the car? I see a big old front mount intercooler on there. I see some other parts. Oh yeah, so it's running a Trestone 1045 series intercooler. It's four and a half inch thick, custom uh, three inch cold side piping and two and a half inch uh, hot side piping just to create a low velocity. It's all feed into the CPE intake manifold. It's also a custom one-off intake manifold that they created. And what I like about a manifold is the design of it inside it has like a velocity stack design it creates like mid-range torque which definitely helps this car because it's heavy and i really liked it over the jmf it's running a am a five bar map sensor the four and a half can only give me so much boost with the five bar we had a goals of trying to get it at least to like 50 pounds of boost wow which we did run it at 50 pounds last year but without the stock cams and it lifted the head oh no <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that was just too much pressure so it lifted the head and uh this time decided to add cams this year which are on the fresh build and we kept it at 40 pounds and it made the power and it's doing what we actually need to do the fuel setup it's a custom fuel setup that we did uh it's still running on stock direct injection but the injector is only good up to 400 horsepower wow. and in order for you to make power with this platform you have to add a port injection setup on it mm -hmm. so right now we have a two and a half gallon tank in the trunk that uh, also has like AEM 380 fuel pumps and it all feeding to the port injection rail up here that sounds way. insane can we go can we go look at that oh yeah you can check, check it out whoa dude what this is so clean and then you look in here and the entire inside is just stripped out from the front seats back so <laughs> So what can you tell us about all that? Uh, yeah, I just stripped it up a little bit just to get some uh, weight out for the track. And uh, funny story is uh, the rear interior, when I took it out of the track on my way home, I forgot to put everything back. And it wasn't until I got home and I realized I didn't have my back seat or anything. Oh, out of no. <laughs> so, I was a little bummed, but at the same time, I didn't really care because I was just trying to drop weight. Just to like, I was more focused on trying to get more weight down and trying to run better time on the track so I kind of left it the way it is I didn't want to bother with it but the front is still intact and that's why I, I kind of like want to I want to keep it that way sweet so it's definitely like a street car it is a street car that's what it was built for originally and I was having a lot more fun with it before I started getting into more drag racing and I fell in love with that as well too I decided to keep it a little bit more drag and street so it has like the tendency of doing both that's sick yeah, yeah and I'm, I came up and I rolled up and I was like oh is that a Mazda Speed 6 oh wait <laughs> This thing's such a sleeper. Like you wouldn't be able. Like you, you pop the hood and you pop the trunk and you see all this stuff, yeah. and it's like what? It's crazy. I mean, you see the, the trunk. I mean, you see the double pumps. But mm -hmm. I'm only running a single pump right now because that's all we needed for that 800. And we plan on turning it up by turning up the second pump, and hoping to get more out of it. Wow. But I kind of don't want to because it's still stock sleeves. And we don't know like the limit on the stock sleeves yet. Nobody has found the limit yet. So I'm kind of basically at the edge of it. And I kind of want to push it, but at the same time, I don't want to because I'm having so much fun with it. But if we need it, we have the power for it. Perfect. And it has injector rooms. It's running uh, ID 1700 injectors. So we have plenty of fuel for thousand if we need it. So uh, what, what wheel and tire setup are you running on this? Um, the setup is um, FD RX-7 wheels and the tires are drag radios toyo proxies tq 255 uh 255 50 16. those are meaty boys right there oh yeah they are they they were hooking pretty good at the track but now they're kind of worn out because i tend to drive the car a lot around the street so it's broken in and worn down the last pass of the track i wasn't getting any traction at all no matter how low i set the tire pressure and it was really affecting me so i think i've surpassed the point where i needed uh i need slicks just to get to the time that mm -hmm. I wanted the track. The best uh, quarter mile that he did a track was 10.4 at 141 mile an hour. So you got the speed. It has the speed and 
with the lower DA, it's it can get up to 145 mile an hour on the, uh, what, the what, D, what DA was that 10 4? It was a uh, 8400. 8400 DA. Yeah. And I remember you, you mentioned you had some sort of record. Oh yeah, it actually holds the record for the fastest Mazda Speed 6 in the world at 10.4, 141. If it wouldn't be too much trouble, would you mind taking me for a ride and taking me for a spin? Oh yeah, no problem. Oh, perfect, no problem. man. Let's go, let's go take a ride real quick. All right. It's quiet. Yeah, until you start rolling. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, the fuel system is hooked up on a switch and it gets louder. Yeah. That one in the back is running Ignite racing fuel. Okay. And we still have a stock pump gas in wow. the main tank. So turn it off, we just cruise on pump gas. That's so cool. video we actually have something a little bit extra for you guys uh, we actually brought Abdul's car to get a dyno here at Edge Auto Sport in uh, Englewood Colorado <laughs> Okay, so as you just saw, Abdul just made over 800 horsepower. He made 809 horsepower on the dyno. This thing's an absolute beast. The backfire scared the crap out of me. I don't even know what I was expecting. I, oh, that just made me jump out of my pants. But yeah, this thing's insane. How do you feel, man? Dude, I'm excited. I'm excited. Finally, 800. I'll take that. All right, shout out to Will, man. Will did a hell of a job. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you I'm said that was, that was the what record? Uh, the stock sleeve record. That's the stock sleeve record on a Mazda Speed 6? Oh yeah, yep. So much man your mazda is amazing it's absolutely unique i love it so much and thank it's you crazy as heck thank you to ride along in so if you guys like this go ahead and leave a like comment and subscribe we'll have more videos like this coming out for you guys soon and uh yeah is there anything else you want to say no that'd be it just uh 
if you want to see more of it just follow my channel and uh, the build is over there I update that and you can see everything plus my Instagram is same name as well too same handle I post a lot more pictures a lot more of my updates and what I'm doing with the car just follow me on that